folks and welcome back to another lesson. I thought I'd redo this one with both Mike and Stone's parts in one video, but with new and improved tab and with the production quality up to the current standard, whatever that is. So let's dive in and check out the tuning and the tones. So let's run through the tones. I'm using my Heritage Custom Core H150. Anything basically with a nice sounding humbucker, PAF style or similar will get you in the ballpark. Now amp wise, I'm using this delicious creature back here, the Morgan MVP66. More on that very soon. And it's a fairly clean tone. <laughs> Lovely. Almost, almost just on the edge of breakup, right? I'm adding a tiny bit of reverb. That's from the GFI Skylast plate reverb and the 1991 for Dirt. All that good stuff. Now for Mike's parts, you basically need three pedals. You need a distortion pedal, a delay pedal, and a wah pedal. That's about it. The heavy with these settings. But there's also a bit of slapback delay on there, about 150 milliseconds you want to aim for. Hear that? It's very subtle. And then you're gonna add wah for the just before the chorus. The only other difference is for the fills and the solo, the delay changes. So you've got this. Which is basically in time with the song. It's around about 570 milliseconds. Tuning, standard tuning for Mike, but for Stone, you're gonna to need to go into open D tuning, okay? So let me take that off and you can tune with me. We've got E goes down to D. A stays the same. D stays the same. G string goes down half a step to F sharp. B goes down to A. And the top E goes down to D. So you are going to start with a slide down from the 12th fret. Okay, and then you go into this riff. All right, so basically there's a little bit of light palm muting throughout, just in the incidental bits. The bits you want to ring out are... Those two notes, right? And then those last six. Even that that low E, I'm kind of muting as I play it right, but just get the notes down first, worry about the, the semantics later, okay? That's how it sounds without me palm muting at all, right? So you've got, slowly, that um, first part, slide to the seventh fret, and then you play the open fifth string. Same note. Then you've got a pull off. Now what you want to do is use your right hand here to palm mute the note in between this and this. Because you're going to get... Right, so I'm actually palm muting and I've got my finger lightly resting on the string there. And then I squeeze down for that last note. Although it's a simple phrase, there's quite a lot going on dynamically, right? That's what makes it so cool. But... And that last part is... 6530. You could do a pull off at the end, or you could do two pull offs five to three and three to zero. So you play it around three times. I'm just going to play it once slowly and then we'll go into the next bar. Then we've got this. 
All right, so you've got a bar of 2-4 here, which is just this little run. Now this next part gets really dynamic. You're going to play... And then the vocals come in, okay? So basically from that part, you go to lots of palm muting using your right hand, okay? And you're going to play... Let's break that down. So the first part um, is the open uh, low string, like that. That's down, up stroke, and that's another down stroke, up stroke, right, for the zero to five. That's the same as before, but then you go. So a slide to the 12th fret and you do two palm muted open strings. Thereafter you play a slide to the 7th fret for the first beat. Okay. That's why in the video you see him just doing this the whole time, right? but it's very light with the right hand, okay? You know, and you'll hear sometimes... You know, you'll hear open strings ringing out. It doesn't matter, because it's an open D, so it's not going to make any difference, right, tonally. Slight variation in the verse where he plays... Just plays that, right, which is just... So if you want to put that in, please do. And then for the last verse riff, we've got... Right, and then you're into the kind of intro riff again, okay? So that's just... Tag that on at the end. Okay, so that one, you start with an open uh, E string. The next time, you're going to slide to the synth fret. Awesome, right? So that is just... You let the low E ring out. And with an up string, you catch the top four strings-ish, right? Chorus, I'm sure you already know. A few ways you can play this, really. I mean, I tend to play... tend to play it like that. But the first chord you could play a few different ways, right? You've got... They all generally sound the same because it's the same notes. You're on the 12th fret, right? So I would tend to either do... When I see stone do this. So you may be doing 12-0, 12-12. I may be doing 12 0, 12 0. But first finger chord, keep it simple, and you still get the effect, right? Then you're going to do this. Basically, like a C minor shape, and then you take your third and fourth fingers off. Okay, so that again. Then you follow that up by moving your two fingers up one string, playing them off and on, right? So you've got... And often he'll play this in between, right? Just oh, hands off the fretboard, down, up, down, up, right? Because you're just playing part of a D chord. Then the second time it's...
<laughs> you play that right. So all I've tabbed here for the moment is the simple part without the open. All right, that'll come up in a sec, right? So we've got. It sounds like there's actually another guitar part playing that, like a clean guitar part, but you can combine the two. Then the um, end chorus just plays 12 to 10. Round the verse, round the chorus again. No real difference there. Uh, when you go to the chorus the second time though, there is um, some more fills. When we go to this bit. You're gonna play that, 10, 11, 12. Down, up, down, up, up, down. Then you've got the middle eight section, which is awesome. It goes like this. That's how I play it anyway. So you've got the rhythm's cool. I think I got this wrong in the last lesson. It's. Right, so that is 10, 10, 10, 10. 11, 12, 0. And then three more. And then I'm just covering the 12th fret there with my third finger, okay? Covering most of the strings. And then sliding down. So again, slowly. Riff behind the solo is pretty straightforward. It's just some percussive mutedness. So we've got. I think he moves his finger up the fretboard when he does it. Um, the only thing to be careful of though is you don't hit any artificial harmonics. So I'm using palm muting and I'm covering the strings of my left hand. And the rhythm goes down, up, up, down, up, 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 and then at the end. So. Then the dynamics come down a bit and you abandon that 12th fret slide and you, the rhythm changes ever so slightly and you're going to play. Okay, so down, up, up, down, up, 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 down, up. And Stone gets this really cool slidey part. It's lovely, isn't it? That is a slice of the 12th fret. Then you play the open D and then you do a pull off. Like that, okay? Play it again. 10, 12, right? You play that whole thing around four times. Again, there's a little bit of light palm muting going on. It's not just, you know, it's. You know, so make sure you get that, that feel in there, okay? And then the ending is just. You end on that 12th fret. You play that around eight times at the end. It's exactly the same as the middle eight. Over to Mike. So the intro part goes. So we've got. Neck position. And we're going to slide up to the seventh fret. A whack and then upstroke. You play a double stop, but you pull off your first finger, the tippy first finger, right? To hit that G string, right? I'm using my third finger there. Up, down, right? So you stay on the seventh fret there. Then you've got this. I use my second and first finger. Because I do hear like a slide and a pull off there um, on the guitar only version, right, which is uh, available on YouTube. So I'd go for that. 
And if you hit the open D, it doesn't matter. It'll totally fit. So you play that round three times and then you've got this. So you've got seven five on the G and then all on the next string down. Oh, Stone's doing his thing, right? Then the verse part is pretty straightforward. It's just. So there I'm sliding up and then when I go, I'm actually palm muting as I hit the strings. Also, I'm just covering the strings lightly here, right? And then the upstroke, I push down on the fifth fret, right? And then you do a little rest and then another same whack. And then with the upstroke, I go to the seventh fret. Okay, and then you've also got <laughs> four little whacks at the end, right? Pre chorus, Mike adds the wah and plays. Very straightforward, and that's that riff again. So you know that already, but the first part is you just stay on the seventh fret and play. And then you go to this. Now I've gone to my little finger here for this. With a pull off, but again, you could play. You could still keep to that. Which I think is what Mike does actually, but I tend to go for that. So, you know, you've got two options there between the way I played it in the intro or this way. So. so you've got that, that goes on three times. Then this riff again. You just play a double stop on the seventh fret there. Boris, you want to go back to the bridge pickup and we're going to play this. So you've got 11, 12, 10, 8. Three whammy bar dips. So I'm just pushing down on the whammy bar and letting it come back up to pitch, okay? So. Okay, pretty straightforward. You got the tab and then you play that twice. Next part is my absolute favorite bit. So good. So again, you're playing the first part the same. But instead of letting it ring out, you go to the ninth fret on the next string up and play. It's just a half step bend and release and then you pull off to the seventh fret. And then at the end you've got play that three times, okay? Then we're into some verse fills. So you want the wire on and the delay with kind of several repeats, right, in time with the tunes. You've got three, four, one. That's the first one. Rad, very Jimi Hendrix. You've got the 12th fret on the uh, G string. So you do a bend up straight to the 10th fret. And then you do a pull off from the 12th to the 10th. Again. And then you slide up to the 19th fret, okay? The next one goes. And you just gradually move in the wire forward with that one. So that's just a uh, full step bend on the 20th fret on the B string. 
and again. Next fill goes like this. Three, four, one. That's awesome. Let me turn the delay and stuff off for this one. That's all you're playing, but it's so effective with the wah and the delay. It sounds a lot more complicated, actually. So you've got a classic. Just, you know, pentatonic bluesy stuff. Then you go to the 13th fret. Then you do a bend and release. So you, you almost hear the same. It's almost the same thing, but because he plays a bend and release and then 10, 13, you know, it's ever so slightly different. You know, because then it's just a pentatonic run. And then again, bend, release, pull off. One more time slowly. Three, four, one. And with the delay and wah. Brilliant. And the last one's a load of wah, basically. So you've got. I'm not sure if there's actually delay on that one, but anyway, you're basically moving the wah as fast as you can there, right? So you're going to play 10, 12. Which is a full step bend. 10th fret, and then another full step bend on the 13th fret. So again. This is how it sounds clean, with just the wah. <laughs> okay, just like that. So you're going wow, 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 wow. Like that. Slight chorus variation. So we've got. Just that in there, right? So you're playing um, an octave above what Stone plays. So. With some palm muting, right? So you've got 10, 10, 10, 10, 11, 12. And then this four times. And then you're into this middle eight riff. Middle eight riff. Again, this is new to me because I heard this when I worked it out the second time, which goes. It's playing that. Which is pretty cool. So you've got an um, octave, you don't have to play the octaves, you could play. You could play it like that, but the octaves sound cool. So you've got down, up, down, up. Then you move up a fret and slide it up. Nine to ten, right? Then with your little finger, grab that little double stop there, and then do up, down, up with some wax, and then a tenth fret on the uh, G and B, right? Uh, double stops. So you've got. Then you're into the solo. Solo starts on the bridge pickup with the longer delay. Like that. So you're going to play. And the rhythm's cool. It's all an eighth note and a half. So you've got. <laughs> like that, right? So you play eight times. And the ninth time you do that one and a half step bend. Then you've got this. Let's do that first. So you've got. Just take the delay off for a sec so you can hear the notes. 
that's the first part. It's very pentatonic, bluesy stuff. So I'm flattening my first finger there. And then you've got... So the 12th note you hold over. And you do a little half step bend and release before pulling off. Cool, isn't it? Again. Get that into your head and then you've got this. Pretty cool. And then you're into this part. You go to neck pickup now. So just before you move to the that bit, um, I would flip over to the neck pickup, right? So you'll get, and then you're into that part, right? So that's how I would change there. And then you've got, to speed. It's not as fast as you might think, but moving to the neck pickup, which makes the notes sound smoother, and mixing up 16th notes with 16th note triplets is the key, really. So you've got... That's the quickest bit. Very doable, right? It's not, not too, too difficult, but you've got... So just break it down slowly, get the first part. Again, flatten your first finger there on the, across the two strings, the B and the E. Get that bit, and then the next bit is. Play that bit next. You know, you can get that, and then you've got bread and butter stuff, right? Put it together. And then you continue the run like this. So when you're here, you're going to go 11, 10, 8. Move your first finger down two frets. That's how you end up at that second position, right? So, all together we have. Brilliant, isn't it? Then you've got this part. All right, so again. That's awesome, but it's quite simple again, because you've got neck pickup, it makes it sound super lovely and lush. Again, flatten your finger across two strings, this time the D and the G, and you're gonna hammer on 10 to 12. So you play that three note phrase four times. Then you play. That's a pull off. And a hammer on. And then a the 10th fret. That's that bar. Then this. So bend. Again, first fingers covering two strings. And then you've got. Let's play it all through with the delay, right? Three, four. Just how good is that? Then you need the wire on and you're going to play. And then it goes into the breakdown, right? So you've got a 20th fret bend, full step bend. <laughs> so you're going wah, wah, wah. And then you've got. Then you go forward back with the wah. And this little run. And you do a little, a little bend, right? So you've got. 12, 11, 10. First finger goes down. 
then you start to bend it up again, okay? Then you've got... You'll hear that, right? So you've got the 12th fret to the 10th uh, fret double stop. And then you got the 10th fret on the G and the E. Which rings out like that. After Stone's lick, you will hear this on not on the original recording, but you'll hear it if you hear the isolated guitar tracks. It's too, too low in the mix to hear, but you'll hear. That part there, you start to hear audibly as it comes up, right? So you're going to play. So it's down, up, up, down. And again, slight, very slight palm muting with your right hand there. 10th fret double stop there on the uh, G and the B. Same again. This time we go 12, 10. And for the outro, you've got... Play that a bunch of times, then you add the war again, and we've got this. Like that. Okay, so that is a pull off. And then 12th fret, 10th fret. Like that. And then you've got six wax. Again, covering the notes slightly. So you could just do that, but I also like to palm mute as well. And the last time. And you end with that. And there you have it. So that was the complete guide to Ethan Flow. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon. Cheers. Bye bye.